the whole wiring mess that I took out was from that ECM. So right in there, I got my new Petronics box, and that's going to hook to my shifter. <laughs> Welcome to Cheapskate Garage. What's up everybody uh, if you saw I was in the middle of doing some wiring I got a lot of it cleaned up I got it figured out uh, right now we're on installing some good stuff and here's what's going on so right in there I got my new Petronix box and that's gonna hook to my shifter now my plan is is take the launch controller on the Petronix box and also wire that into the trans brake. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put the trans brake on a relay. And the Petronix box's launch control is operated off of what they call the gray wire. And is what you do is you ground out that wire in order to do that. Or in order to set it. So this means I'm going to be able to come up to the line. Whatever, I have it, whatever RPM I have it set to on the launch control. As long as I have the button pushed, it's going to go to 4500 RPM or whatever. And at the same time, the trans brake is going to be activated. However, though, the trans brake requires 12 volts positive current, while the Petronix box requires a ground signal. So the only way to do this is by taking uh, the trans brake, putting that on a relay, and is what I'm going to be doing is putting the ground that triggers the relay on the same button as I put in the ground uh, for the Petronix box and making that ground too. So as soon as I push that button, both parts are getting active uh, are being activated through the ground. And when I let go of that button, the ground's disconnected and I'm off into the races, into the wind. And the only problem that I thought I might have is when I first started doing this or putting this all in, I was like, wait a minute, I can't have the trans brake and the engine grounding out while I'm in reverse because in order to put the trans brake or the put the truck in reverse you also have to shift to reverse and push the button for it to engage the solenoid so that way the fluid will start flowing for reverse but at least that's the best way I can explain it right now because I don't even know everything about these parts but uh, then I got thinking about it well it's not going to start cutting spark until about 4,000 RPM or wherever I have it set at for the trans brake. So who cares? Nobody reverses at 2,000 RPM anyway. So, or maybe 2,000 at the most. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'm just going to give you some live updates. And uh, as I go through it, I'll uh, stop and just kind of explain what I'm doing and how it's working and show you. So for the Petronix box, all I did is I took out this cover. I drilled the hole through here. And that was a mistake, so I ended up drilling a hole over here. I ran the wire through it, and the wire going through the dash into the uh, heater box. It's just wire, and the heater box doesn't get overly hot because I didn't really have any good place, other place to run it. And then the whole wiring harness is coming out here. That was for my old AC condenser, and then it comes wraps around here. Doo -doo -doo. Now, along with this kit, I also have a new distributor. Because from what I read online, this cheapo distributor that I have, the HEI, uh, the coil in it <clears throat> is not strong enough to last with this Petronix box. So new distributor is going to get dropped in it. And uh, yeah, but I got to figure out where to mount the coil at. And I'm kind of thinking maybe right here. I don't know kind of running out of space in this truck. I don't want to put it all the way over here because then the power wires to it are super far. So I'm thinking right here, I got to have, uh, it requires two wires, a negative and a positive to the battery posts. So 
I can get this to come up and wrap right around here. And then my other two could feed off to right here uh, <clears throat> to the coil. And then I got one gray wire in this that I got to hook up to my button. Protronics has done an awesome job with all their instructions. I highly recommend it. It tells you right here what all the plugs are. And uh, all this other stuff here, it tells you what each one goes to. Um, it's a nice little kit. They give you extra wires and connectors and everything else. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend the Petronics. Here's the relays that I ordered off of Amazon. These are going to be for the trans brake. And uh, I don't even know how to wire it up, so we're going to wing that. But we'll get there and see what happens. My goal for right now is just to get the truck back together after ripping out the ECM and making sure that it still runs and drives and will fire up. If it can't, then I got problems. So that's where we're going next. Well, got some extra screws left over after putting the dash back together, but just add to the collection. Well, maybe something's not right here. I don't think something. Right. Huh. Got it. No. Yep. There. Perfect. Not that ever happened. So now that I got the dash all put back together, all the wires up under the hood are all reconnected, and I should be able to just twist on the key, get a fuel pump, and get it just to pop off. Let's see what happens. Air fuel gauge lit up. Battery, parking brake. Fuel pump's running. Fuel pump doesn't need to be on to start it. I got a dead battery, great. Working on this truck, this battery's been drawn dead I don't know how many times now. At least once at the track that everybody saw. Probably about six more times in this garage, so I'm going to put it on the uh, trickle charger, let it charge up for a little while. Let's see what, keep working on the rest of this. So let's just move on to the relay, forget the rest of the truck. Actually, I spent some time painting the front water grill, whatever part you call it. Anyway, let me show you about the relay. So it looks like this down in there. You got five slots. I don't know which ones to use. That's when I go and turn to this little booklet right here. Uh, I can use either use the top left or the top right and so this wiring diagram is a little bit confusing but is what this is happening is uh, right here you got your battery it's fused 30 and 86 is where you want to use those wires so if you look at the inside of the relay if you've never done this before deep down in there they're all labeled and you can see them when you get them in the right light but uh so, is what I've learned after previously going through this is that my red and white wire, they get joined together. My yellow is not used. My blue is going to be my 12 volts to the trans brake. And then this part right here, this is what's going to ground it. Pretty simple, really. Uh, yeah, so we could probably clip the yellow pretty short and just leave it hanging. But now i got to figure out where I'm going to mount it at. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this heavier gauge red wire and bring it right into the cab of the truck. I'm going to land this terminal right here. That's like a junction right there. That's a junction for everything. Uh, and that has a heavy tw uh, wire coming straight from the alternator, so it'll get plenty of power. I went and put it back in exactly where I had the old trans brake routed. Made sense. I'm going to bring that giant power wire in. And then uh, that way I got really good power to the uh, relay. And then from there, all I got to do is bring in two wires to the new trans brake switch. And then when I go to install the Petronix, I just wire into that ground leg of that, so, of that switch. So, hey, perfect.
We're rolling, but I gotta go take care of my little man because he just woke up from his nap. So here's a little update. Made room in here for activities. This is my relay for uh, the trans brake. I just gave it a test. Hook this to here, and then when I ground out the black, it goes chinka chinka chinka. So uh, we're gonna mount it back here in the corner. That way I know where it's always at. Plus, uh, I pulled out the seat. There's one of the old go-kart seats. It's a racing seat. I got used. And that's the old seat that was in it. Uh, the old seat, I have to have two hands to pick it up. This one I can pick up with one hand, so definitely some weight savings here. If I really cared about weight savings, I should just look at myself. I mean, you know, I got the COVID-30 and I haven't got rid of it yet, so... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep on going with this truck and uh, and uh, get that done. I'm still waiting on my uh, coil for the Patronix box to come in the mail. So once that comes, then I'll swap everything over with the distributor and whatnot. Because I like to keep the truck running. It might be a week. It might be three days. It might be tomorrow. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'll give you a little update as we go. We got the trans brake all wired in. I know nothing looks different. It's just. Instead of it being up there on the dash, it's on the, the shifter. So we're going to clean this thing up real quick and uh, try it out. So right there, the trans brake was holding on 3,000 RPM, and I let go of the button, and yeah, it spun a little bit, but uh, everything's working. I'm going to end the video here. We'll pick it back up uh, when we go to install the rest of the Patronix box. You guys have a great 4th of July. This video probably won't be posted till tomorrow, but who knows. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. Appreciate y'all. Oh! Guess you haven't heard yet. In case you haven't noticed, there's a little button on the YouTube page now where you can go up and you can click join. Go ahead and do that if you want. Not forcing you.